I want to ask Cornwood if he's going to shoot people when he becomes sheriff Bro, over stealing turbos. Yeah, it's been like two weeks, man. I, I meet motherfuckers that getting their weed ones done in a day. What's going on with you, Lynx? Yeah. What's going on, Cornwood? What's going on, man? Doing? I heard that you were showing for sheriff. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going around. I'm talking to a bunch of people, uh, letting people ask their questions and whatnot, and having, having a con. Oh, sorry, sorry, y'all. Having a conversation with them about it. And how about you? What, what are you, uh, what are you up to right now? Well, right now I'm just, you know, trapping this, shit, you know, what I'm saying, drilling, fucking, sucking, all that type of stuff. But listen, I just got a question for you, man. Uh -huh. If you, were, you know, because I'm trying to gauge and see what's going on and who running and what they doing, right? Now, okay. I got a serious question. All right. Okay. If you become a sheriff, be honest with me now. Say you're gonna be honest. Okay. You're gonna be honest. Yeah, okay. I'm always honest. Well, All right. right. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't lie unless it was to protect somebody. Okay. If you become a sheriff, if somebody steals a turbo, are they gonna be shooting on sight? Be honest with me now. Now, be honest with me. You know, that's the honor circle. Oh, uh, that's what a lot of that's what a lot of officers were asking for. It's not about the turbo. It's about running off of the car. A lot of people were asking for that. Mm. Uh, mm. Like phones. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of folks, right? Were mm. asking about that. Uh, I don't know what the appropriate response is going to be. Uh, I I actually don't think a shoot on sight is proper. Uh, mm. If you you want to know my real thoughts and on the turbos, me, I want listen. I want you to tell me your straight up the truth like if you if you want to say oh i'll shoot a motherfucker then tell me that like you know what i'm saying be straight up with it like what's up what's the truth so so do you want to know about turbos or do you want to know about police vehicles so both whatever you want to go with first so the thing with turbos that i have a problem with I, i've been against turbos for the whole time like i thought turbos should just not even exist that's that's just the honesty guy's truth. I, I think they're they're, I, I just think they're piss poor, right? For a lot of reasons, it's hard to explain. Oh, but yeah. because they are a thing, oh, I got I got to get in the. I'm, I'm gonna get out of the rain and take my hat off. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Man, no problem. Hello. Fucking baby. I can't be letting other people. Um, I don't know what the fuck that was. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, my hat's off. Sure, all right. So, um, my real problem with turbos is I think that they should be able to get stolen. But the issue is, is that there's no way to track a paper trail on them. And because <clears throat> you, there's no paper trail, there's no investigation or anything that occurs parallel to it. Hmm. So, so you can't really, f there's, there's nothing that you can really do about it. So that's the real issue that I have with how turbos are done. Yeah, he's talking to Peanut right now. So you're saying some like, you know what I'm saying, some serial numbers type shit. Well, that's what you're saying. Right now? Look, I understand people got to make a living, okay? I might not agree with it, all right? But I understand they got to make a living their way. And they, you know, if, if, it's, if it comes down to doing crime and shit, then hell, it comes down to doing, doing crime, right? And and on, I know this much, as much as I would love to stop crime in the city forever, okay, I know I can't be doing that because then we'll have layoffs, all right? I ain't stupid. I'm a businessman, all right? We, I, I, hell, I've, I've, I come from a long line of Cornwood family farms running businesses, and you know, I know how to run an organization, right? I know, I know how to make people work. And, that's uh, true. I know how that's to lead. true. Right. So that's, that's where, when it comes to turbos and shit, if, you know, that's my true, honest thoughts on turbos, is I think people should be able to steal a turbo. Uh, the problem is, is there's no way to investigate or do any shit against it, and because there is no way to do any shit against it, then that kind of kills in any sort of counter, you know, any sort of counter-terrorist measures that we can take against it. Other than oh shit, I'm I'm going down. Holy hell, I caught I don't know how I just oh, caught myself. You about to die? You you good? I just I caught myself on the ledge of a building. Jesus Christ! I, I yeah, get what you're wild. saying though. I get I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. I hope yeah. I hope I'm clear because I think people don't understand my response to a lot of things, and they they think my response to one thing is 
an, a response to something else than it actually is. If that makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. I see what you're saying. But uh, yeah. Okay, what about the you said the turbos and the cop cars? <laughs> what about a cop car? You want? I want honest truth. You want to know the honest I, truth? I, you're I not wanna, gonna believe me when I listen, say this. No, I want to hear you say. If you if you would shoot a motherfucker for shooting a cop car, I want to hear you say that. If you want to be the sheriff, tell me the truth, man. Who am I voting for? What I, the fuck? You you might not believe me, but this goes as far back as eight years ago. Okay, my hat's still off here. All right. All right, man. All right. I'm one of the people when we used to shoot people for getting in our cars and stealing them. I was one of the people that was against it. <laughs> I think if somebody gets in your car, takes it and dumps that shit in the ocean, so be it. I mean, we should go chase them. You know, you know, we got to go get their ass. But at the same time, I think it's one of them things where, uh, can you hit me on a radio? You just oh kind of you gotta off. run with that, you know. You gotta you gotta go fight against it. And worse comes to worse, hey, at the end of that damn storm, it's gonna come wash ashore because that's a real strong storm, and and the, the local tow is gonna put it back in the parking spot. Yeah, so eight I mean, years ago, you're not wrong. That's what I was about. So so the issue is now. Uh, the, the real issue that we have now is because of how the turbos work, I don't know what the appropriate response should be because now there is like a, uh, it, it now, it hinders rights, you know, so. the vehicle in the long term, right? Because now, now things are being right taken now. out of it, which, uh, on top of something being taken out of it that affects the performance, which makes us not be able to do our jobs very good, it... Uh, it also does not, um, th there's, there's no investigation that can, can occur off of it. So it, it just makes it borderline impossible to stop. I mean, so but, that, hold on, that, hold on. Let me stop you okay. right there real quick though. Is that entirely true though? Because I mean, listen, allegedly, I mean, look, I'll be real with you. You know, I've never shown a turbo. But I've been told that there was an investigation on me. But you're saying there's no way to investigate turbo stealing. I'm just saying it, there was it is it me. is well, it's borderline impossible. I mean, you got to catch them doing it, right? If you catch somebody stealing a turbo, you you got them. Yeah, that's the only way. The only way you can do it is if you catch someone stealing it. And you like you can Is that not possible to catch somebody stealing it? It's it's borderline impossible. It's very very difficult. You think so? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Has anybody even been caught for stealing the turbo or not? Uh, maybe once. One, one, one time I think somebody got hit with the uh, accessory. Yeah, damn, dude. Uh, so, so, do you, you want me to know? Do you want to know why it's so impo so damn near impossible to to guess somebody? What it? So, you you have to see them get in the car, or you don't have to see them get in the car, but you have to have them take the car and you have to see them over there have the car at Mosley's and see them getting under the car and pulling it out and there's like a less than one minute it's about a 30 second window of time that you can witness something to be able to prove that they took the turbo out and and you have to be there to witness it. Mm, I see you see what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, yeah. So there, there's like a, like a 30 there's frame. Yeah, only 30 seconds, and you have to be there. So that that's why nobody's getting caught. Because, I mean, I'll be honest with you. There are a lot of reports about who's stealing turbos, and we, we damn near know. Hold okay. on now. <laughs> Hold on now. My name ain't in there, is it? There's a lot of names in there. Oh, okay. Okay. okay but there, we, we, we know who all is a suspect as far as stealing turbos go. So you know who's on what our reports are. All right. Yeah, oh, everybody. But uh, but the thing is, um, we can't really investigate it at all, unfortunately. So so that's where my frustration comes from whenever it comes to turbo shit. Um, I think to, I feel like there needs to be something that is done above, you know, my jurisdiction, 
to be able to, to give us the tools that we need to be able to properly investigate. Now, there's some other things we could do too, but, but it gets shut down, right? Like setting up bait cars, setting up a sting op. All that shit gets shut down every time I try. So why which, does that get again, shut down? The fuck is the point of that? Liberal shit show police department. That's why. LSPD. You're working with a bunch of liberals is what you're saying. That's the problem. Okay, <laughs> We're working with a bunch of liberals, and liberalism has destroyed Los Santos. Okay, <laughs> That's why we got to go back to the county and, and get to actually do some shit to promote some good, uh, uh, some good culture. You know, foster a good environment. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. Mm. And, and I think a lot of people don't understand that because maybe they hear something from somebody and it starts to sway their opinion, even though they personally ain't seen that. Right? Like, I'll tell you, the amount of times I, I never get to shoot my damn gun at a scene and it's starting to piss me the hell off. Okay? Because I never get to shoot and everybody else is shooting and I ain't even shooting. And I say, like, what the hell, y'all? You trying to I shoot is what you're saying. No, I just want a piece. You want a piece of that action? What you say? You trying yeah. to bless motherfucker? Well, I, everybody else is shooting and I ain't. It's starting to piss me off a little bit, I mean, listen, but it is bro. what it is. Because because I, I have my own you know sort of method of how I do things. And as it. much as I would love for it to be, you know, you know, hey, this is Texas. We're shooting. Unfortunately, it ain't like that all the time. It might be like that a little bit more than you know than than it had been in the past. But that's just as part of a like a appropriate response, not a. But not as much as people think. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? Yeah, everybody's just liberal now. I know what you're saying. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm, I'm, out, I'm, I'm out here trying to do my best. So, just true. Tr because my end goal is I, I look at things from a very top down point of view as much as I can. And it, it I get a lot of bullshit whenever you're looking at things from a top down view that is not really, uh, it ain't really, it ain't really proper. If that makes sense. Where, uh, mm, how do I put this? I end up having to deal with a lot of bullshit because I have to think about things in such a way. Hey, this affects everybody in this way or that way, and I believe that it is my job as a sheriff to be able to see that and have that perception because I want to have as good, healthy of a city as possible. There's three sides to this equation, and a lot of people don't see that. You have police officers, you have criminals, but you also have civilians, and they're the backbone, right? I don't need a whole, I don't give a damn about a laundromat, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you, okay? Now I'll go out there and I'll do my job, and I understand they have insurance and stuff, right? So because they have insurance, then you know what? They can make their money back, it's okay, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. If someone's calling 911 and they're saying, hey, police, I'm getting held up. Peanuts, you know, he's he's running after me and he's gonna stab uh, hold me. Hold on now, why are you using me as an example? Well, I mean, I mean, I don't know how many criminals you know. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. So anyway, like, oh, peanuts got holding me up. He's running after. Me. Well, shit. To me, that's priority number one. You know, it's, we we gotta stop. As police officers, we gotta connect with these people. Somebody calls nine one one, call them back. At the very least, they should be getting a text response. I, I think it's a dad gum show. Oh, 100%. I mean, you, you know how many times Because I nobody wants to be treated like they're a local. That's Stop what treating I'm people saying. like they're local. That's what I'm saying, dude. You know how many times I call 911 and nobody responded to my shit? I'm like, what the hell, yeah. man? You yeah, you I'm should saying? be getting a response. Because yeah, here's I feel the thing. Lonely. You might have a record, okay? You might have a record, but that don't mean you're always doing crime, okay? Does that mean you might do more crime? Sure. Okay, I understand that. That don't mean you're doing crime right now. Okay? So, we shouldn't go into every situation approaching it as if, hey, they're doing crime at this very moment. Now, if you start doing some shit and you're doing crime, that's another thing, right? Yeah, but, that's the way that I feel about it. And, and, and I think a lot of people don't understand that about how I think. Because I think at it from a bird's eye view a hell of a lot more. So. That makes sense. I, 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 I I really, I tried to talk, I'm telling you, I tried to talk to, uh, I don't know if you heard about this. I tried to talk to Mr. K about this the other day, but there's like six people in that room and everyone's trying to talk over me and I was starting to piss me the hell off, right? So I didn't really get to have a proper conversation. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go and, 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 you know, figure some shit out and actually be able to have an appropriate conversation. It was just hard as shit because there's six people there and 
you got gnats in my ear and 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 everybody else's ear you know saying all kinds of bullshit that you know it ain't even true and it's trying to piss me the hell off right no, I get um, you. A lot of people coming at you, you feel the top of weight. It's understandable. Well, it was just like, it's just, it, I mean, that, I'm telling you, that room stank. Okay. I, I don't know what happened before we got in there, but there was just gnats all over the place. It was crazy. Hold uh, on, what's a gnat? It's like a little fly or something, right? Yeah, like little flies just buzzing in your ears, you know? Oh, all right. Yeah, so I, I had to deal with all kinds of bullshit there, which I don't even know. It's probably, it was, I think it was a product of everybody talking so much, and I think we all had bad breath. Man. So, yeah, for that. Uh, well, listen, my bread, hey, my bread didn't smell too good that day either. I'll tell you that much. Mm. Mm. Well, listen, Cornwood, to be honest with you, man, I'll be real with you. I'm going to shoot straight. You know what I'm saying? Oh. My two options is you and Bones. You know what I'm okay. saying? I don't really think, I don't really fuck with any other candidates. I was just thinking between you and Bones. Okay. Let me, let me, let me uh, ask you one more thing. What do you, what do you think about Bones? Right? Let's say he did win or let's say you won, but what, what do you think about Bones in general? I think Bones is... It, the God's honest truth. I think Bones has the potential to be the future. I think I think there's he, he's close, but he ain't done cooking yet. Okay, he's still a little raw. So when he's still, he's still in the leader, kitchen. Is what you're saying? He's he is a great great officer. He really is. He knows his shit. He knows how to he knows how to do police work. But he needs to grow as a leader, and he needs to be given more leadership responsibility. That's going to get him there. That's how I personally feel. Okay. All right, He's very, enough, very close. I just don't, I think he needs more time. And I also worry about this. This first term sheriff is going to be a nightmare of a job because there are a lot of problems within the PD that need fixing. And there's, I think there, not only do I think there's very few personalities in this PD, I think there's very few personalities in general that have the experience and the means to be able to come in here and fix this thing on a large scale, right? And I don't, I care for Bones quite a bit. I don't want Bones to be in a situation where people look at him as failed high command because of shit that's not his fault entirely. At the end of the day, if some shit happens and I can't do my job, I'm 47 years old. I've been around the block. I mean, I, I can, look, I, I can head back to the farm. I, I, I got a place to go, you know? <laughs> I have my pension, I have retirement and stuff saved up. I came out of retirement for this. Yeah, buddy. I uh -huh. get what you're saying, yeah. You, so you I don't want bones to be left out saying. to dry. Yeah, you're saying he need more experience before he becomes, like, a sheriff, is what you're saying. All right, yeah. that's understandable. I mean, he's a lot younger, younger than you and shit. But, uh, uh -huh. hey, I appreciate you asking my questions. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm probably going to have my... Listen, I ain't gonna say I'm a, I ain't gonna be that type of person to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna vote for you, and then I go up, turn around, and I don't vote for you. Know what I'm saying? So I'll be honest with you, I'm deciding between you and Bumps. But uh, okay, I appreciate it. To be real with you, man, best of luck to you. You know what I'm saying? I hope either of y'all win. Whatever works for yeah, you. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, Peanut. No problem, dude. Uh, you yeah, have do a great you know day, if uh, what's up? Do you know if uh, Rami or Mr. Kane, all them are around? Do yeah, they they're around. They're around if you want to give them a call. Yeah, I might, uh, I might want to talk to just one at a time. Might make things a little bit easier. All right, well, so. if you want to, honestly, Brad, just, just honestly, just talk to Kate, probably. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, think I, I think I should, because I didn't really get a chance to talk to him that day, and it was, uh, I, was, I was getting talked over a hell of a lot, and it was starting to I mean, have it, yeah, me. that's why you don't have it fucking meetings with, like, 30 people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, doesn't, it, it, don't, it don't make no, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even set that thing up. I wasn't ready at all for that. I, I literally came on duty, didn't even know what was happening. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you got, yeah it happens. All right, well, sounds good, Corn. Appreciate the talk, man. Appreciate you. Take it All right. All, All right, right we'll see you later. It.